Whitley and Dwayne just kissed again. When I tell you A Different World is literally just my ultimate comfort show. I started watching it like in college and then ever since then, like I have to watch it over and over. I literally watch it for Dwayne and Whitley. Like, oh, like doesn't everybody just want, I don't know about everybody, but doesn't everybody just want a relationship like Dwayne and Whitley like they're so cute like anytime I see them on the screen together I'm literally just sitting in front of the TV like <laughs> I'm just waiting for you guys know the part where Freddie gets a man and his name is Shaza y'all I think that's why I like this show the amount of fine men they were creating in the 90s is insane you just don't come across that very often now like 90s type fun is just not very common but freddy's man shaza that was the finest man on this show like oh, so cute the number one way is the most obvious one and that is avoiding too much manipulation i've been wearing these pigtails for like the past few days anytime i go to sleep whether it's through this method or doing my heatless curl method which i 10 out of 10 recommend Guess what just got here? My Sephora package is downstairs. So I gotta get presentable to go downstairs and pick up my package. We're getting swan lit. I'm obsessed with these little ruffle shorts. But not obsessed to the point where I want everybody to see my behind. When I go downstairs, so we're gonna put these on. We're gonna go grab my package. She's here. Sorry to the people downstairs. Let's get this thing open. The amount of times that I was influenced. I think about 90% of the things that I got in this package are all because people on the internet either told me to get them or I saw them using it and I loved how it looked on them. Or a repurchase. Now I didn't go too crazy. This is everything that I got. I spent about 300 something dollars regularly. I'm excited. This is something that I have already purchased before. The glow that it gives you. And then also the smell. This is just gonna leave you glowy and it's gonna leave you bronzy and the finishing touch is going to also make you smell good I have the oil from them. I have the spray from them. I just really really like them They were really hyped at one point. I have been using them for oh my gosh Like I think over a decade. Okay, this next thing is definitely an influenced thing. This is Magnesium moon juice. I have just been hearing so much about it. Everybody on the internet has been recommending it Honestly, I just want to open it to see what is even going on with it because I don't even know what's in here I just been seeing everybody say it is going to help you like, with your periods. Magnesium apparently is just good for everything. As a matter of fact, hey Siri. Oh, you not set up on here? That's embarrassing. <laughs> what are the benefits of magnesium? This is so shady. So it says promotes healthy blood sugar regulation may reduce stress, can improve symptoms of anxiety and depression, helps to maintain healthy bones, may improve some headaches, supports healthy blood pressure levels, may improve sleep. Do you know what I've gathered from this? I feel like people, they look up magnesium, because you know you can have a magnesium deficiency. They're probably like, oh, you know, maybe this won't work on me because it says may. That sounds like there's a slim chance that it's going to help you. I literally saw a tweet that said something like, why are doctors not talking about magnesium? This does everything for you it's the first post that came up it probably has more benefit oh this is a powder let me be careful with this i don't know why i thought it was like a peel or something but yeah we're gonna put the top back on that i can see it like inside of here if you guys have been seeing the girls making sleepy girl cocktails it's where they make themselves like a mocktail before bed make it super cute they romanticize their life and they put it in a glass but really it's to help them go to sleep i'm sure you guys have heard apparently melatonin gummies and things like that it's just not a great thing to be taking on a regular basis melatonin is really like something that's like a last resort thing because i think they say if you use it too much it can stop working on you period and i think it also has some other drawbacks so i've been hearing that magnesium is a way better option if you are trying to relax and if you are trying to sleep you guys know i suffer from really terrible menstrual pain i get really bad headaches it does make it harder to sleep so apparently this is really good to take when you are on your period i will let you guys know how that goes i wish i would have had it earlier this week because i was on my cycle which is 
is why y'all saw me starting out the video in those little raggedy ponytails. I had those ponytails on my head for a few days. I was not leaving the house. So I'm excited about this weekend. We're leaving the house, okay? So this next one is Rare Beauty. It is a highlighter. One thing about Rare Beauty, I have not tried anything from them that I don't like yet. Selena Gomez, she did her little thing. And then also the packaging is always so cute. Like, look at this. I love the pastels. If all of my makeup could look like this, I would be a very happy girl. I got this from this influencer. I don't know her name. I just came across a video on TikTok, but she had similar skin tone to me. But it seemed like a good highlighter. Oh no, it's broken. It is broken. What? Oh no, baby, you're going back. Oh, it just got all over my pants. And I was just hyping you up. How could you betray me like this? All over my pants. Like, I might as well just put it all on the carpet and then vacuum it up. I'm so annoyed. I am really sad because honestly, this is one of the products I was most excited about. And I can't even use it. It is completely... It is completely broken. This is the color. If you guys don't get a full-on swatch on this, like, please forgive me. I just don't want to get it on my bed. This is disappointing. I'm going on a date this weekend. I wanted to be able to wear it on my date night. I'm sad, y'all. It's really disappointing. Okay. Like, what is, what are you in here for? This is in the top of the box when it comes. Baby, it didn't save nothing. We have some lippies, which they put them in a bag for me. Not sure why. I got the Sephora Plump Effect Lip Gloss. I have seen the girls on the internet saying, like, y'all are asleep on the Sephora lip glosses like they work really really well which this is something we low-key already know like everybody knows like beauty supply has the, the best clear gloss nothing gives crisco oil like a good beauty supply lip gloss i got this really pretty light pink colored one we're gonna see how that works we're gonna see if it plumps well i also picked up a couple of their lip liners this one is the shade rosewood a mauvey brown which i feel like is a really good base for me overall my favorite of course is like dark brown lip liner like you guys know no, the OG Chestnut Mac. Another good one that works on me are kind of like the mauve brown ones if I don't want such an intense like lip line. And then I also picked up this kind of red brown shade because I've had one before like a long time ago. I don't remember the brand but I remember I used to use it a lot and I remember it used to make me some really good lip combination. The lips... <laughs> They're gonna be looking good, y'all. This is a time and time again repurchase. And this is Charlotte Tilbury's setting spray. I love this setting spray. It is definitely a really good one. I've been using this setting spray for like a few years now. I don't need, I can't tell you how many times I've repurchased the setting spray. I think the one I used to use before this one was the Urban Decay one. And I think I also used the MAC one. I don't know how a setting spray can go out of style, but I was listening to a podcast the other day and they were like, yeah, the girl aren't using urban decay all nighter oh anymore and i was like dang not setting sprays going out of style it was one thing for our clothes to go out of style now i can't wear my setting spray obviously that's not like a serious thing but it was just funny to find out makeup can trend too i mean we know that i didn't know if you wear certain things somebody's gonna be like oh why are you why are you still wearing that if it works you know i can understand if everybody found out like it was super toxic or breaks you out or they use bad ingredients but for no reason unprovoked but if you are looking for a good setting spray it sets everything but it doesn't make it too matte like i've been hearing a lot about um patrick stars gosh what is that called y'all me and this ipad we go together real bad the one called one size i looked up what the best setting spray was because i've tried this so many times and you know when you try things so many times Sometimes you just be in the mood to try something else. I found that it was Patrick Star's one size setting spray. I cannot go that route because apparently like it is really good but it's a mattifying one. And one thing about me like I don't like a matte look. I have oily skin. I have just decided to embrace the oily skin because I feel like it makes me really glowy and also glowy skin is something I work really hard on with my skincare like every night. A lot of work goes into that and the last thing I want is to mattify my face. Yes it's not gonna move but now I'm not gonna have that really nice youthful glowy shine that I love to have especially with summer and spring that is when I my makeup really needs to be on glow if you are looking for a good setting spray that still keeps you dewy and glowy Charlotte Tilbury I just went on way too long about that but I love her this is another rare beauty item don't let me down girl don't let me down oh she can't let me down because <laughs> she is a brush is this this is what I think it is let me make sure I got the right one. This can't be right. Don't tell me they messed up another thing. Is this me or did they mess this up? Hold on. Highlighter all over my carpet. This is insane. They did mess this up. Oh my god. 
gosh. Can y'all get one rare beauty item right? I'm sad. This is another disappointment. So I ordered the rare beauty concealer brush. I pulled this out. I'm like, this definitely is giving like something for eyeshadow or something like that or highlighter. Wait, am I being dumb? I just realized something. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think they messed up. Give me a second. First thing was a them problem, but this, this is a me problem. I didn't realize I ordered two brushes from them. <laughs> I am embarrassed. Okay, um, yeah. So this is the concealer brush from Rare Beauty. I'm sorry, Rare Beauty and Sephora. So this was another thing that I found out that I was doing completely incorrect, which again, to each his own, but I'm trying to get the most snatch under eye that I can get. I've been using like the beauty blender for my under eye concealer, and I just have a little bit of struggle with it creasing a little bit, which that might be something that's inevitable, honestly. I don't know if the girls just don't have under eye creases or like if they're using filters when they put their makeup on. I would really like to know because I'm like, am I supposed to have a crease under my eye? But one makeup girl did come forward and she was like, it's gonna be normal for you to have a crease under your eye because you have a crease under your eye. Um, some people are just blessed with like not having this little line right here, but some of us it gets like a little dented underneath. Still wanted the most like snatched under eye I can manage and apparently when you use a beauty blender it takes away some of the product because it's a sponge, but when you use a brush like this brush it actually is going to keep more of the product there. Apparently I also picked up the Rare Beauty highlighter brush. I've been using this big fat highlighter brush and it gets the job done, but highlighter is one thing that I do not play about. Ever since they introduced it to us when I was like, I think in high school, you remember we used to have like a strobe light across our cheek. I don't really do that anymore. I do like it to be like a little more natural, but still obviously highlight. Let's just make sure it's more concise and more natural. That way you just have like this little light beam of glow instead of like a line a stripe this kills cream eye treatment i honestly thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this i was influenced in person and i think i mentioned her already okay like sorry that i'm obsessed with you kalila i've said to you guys before that she has beautiful skin and like i said she gave me her skincare routine their creamy eye treatment with avocado that's gonna help me with like brightening under my eyes i don't really have a huge problem with that but i still want to keep it as moisturized as possible under there before we get to a problem so this is kind of a repurchase also like trying something new because it is in a new color i also saw this one on tiktok and i just liked how like natural the blush looked on her like it made her look naturally flushed it looked like it would be like a really good blush for summertime to look like sun kissed like you got the rosy cheek look you know like not doing too much and i really enjoyed that i heard mixed reviews about the dior blush the key is it's not gonna work like your rare beauty blush rare beauty is so intense like no matter what but the thing i've noticed with dior it works best when you have it actually on top of makeup that's when it goes on really pretty and really well out of all the powder blushes i've tried it has that like more airbrush it what airbrush is what i'm trying to say it's just super buildable and really pretty another thing i got and i was so on the fence about this one is the makeup by mario shaping stick i like the fact that this one has not only the contour stick but also the brush attached to it that is going to blend it out perfectly i have tried uh other things by makeup by mario and i loved it i was on the fence about it because the reviews for it are really bad if you have used it please let me know what you think i'd like to hear if people have any different opinions or if you do think it truly sucks let me know preferably before i bust it open and use it i've always been anti using a lash curler honestly i was afraid of them but again saw a girl on tiktok using a lash curler the shizu do one this is the exact one that she had her lashes were natural and they were really pretty pray for my eyeball this is an irrational fear i feel like but i've always been scared that i would like clamp my eyelid this next thing i am super super excited about i'm such an advocate for some good eyebrows uh we are coming up on the time to get my eyebrows relaminated again if you guys did watch my maintenance vlog that I posted last week, I took you guys with me. Apparently, this one by Refi Refi, however you say them, it's made by an influencer. I actually followed this girl for years, but she's got the nicest eyebrows, like, ever. They sit up. But they say, like, your eyebrows are going to stick up. It's gonna give you that fuzzy, stuck look. This is the applicator. I really thought it had, like, a double-sided one. On one end, it's got this. So it's got the brush. And it's got like the cone. But yeah, those are all the things that I got from Sephora. I will link everything down below for easy access so you don't have to remember everything that I just said. So yeah, that will be in the description box.
Just finished getting ready. I'm running late. I used a lot of the new makeup stuff that I got too. And let me just say, she cute. She real cute. This is what I'm wearing for a date night. I'm going to go do a sip and paint, but it's a different type of sip of paint. It's actually spray painting. I decided I would do a more street look. I want to oversize just regular white button down on these hair and Preston shorts, which the last time I had these on, they were a little bit looser. They have like these little graphics on them. My city bag. And I have on these knee high black boots oh, ignore the mess in the background okay i'm working on organization y'all know that got to cover these up really good because right now it's giving sperm cells and that's not really what we're going for. today it is hot girl walk time i'm just putting on my face and when i say putting on my face i'm really just putting on stuff that's gonna make me glowy just tried little recipes new niacinamide dew drops that are tinted um, because i was desperate i wasn't even supposed to open this box because i need to do a pr haul on my instagram i ran this one to the ground like there's nothing left in this one so i couldn't use it and then i was like wait a second glow recipe sent me their new one it's a no makeup day so i'm gonna go ahead and try it it's more tinted 
than the other one and i do think it gave me a little bit of a tint nothing crazy like it's not makeup but it just gives you a little bit more of a bronzy glow somebody asked me in the video i posted today how i get my skin so glowy that is one of the steps so yeah i definitely use that every day which is why there's nothing left in this one but yeah let's see i think i need to put on some earrings there is not a day that goes by that i don't wear earrings smelling good glowing good all of that i'm excited for today because i really need this last night i got some earth shattering news first of all i did my taxes super late number one i'm a procrastinator i'll be real and then <laughs> number two one of the brands that i worked with they ended up sending out like two tax forms and they were like oh the first one's wrong so like don't submit your taxes yet because this paper is wrong that just pushed me back further because last year i didn't even do my taxes um i mean wait i did do my taxes i didn't do them late is what i was trying to say i have been complaining about taxes for like the past week I'm like why can't y'all show up by my door and like have somebody pull all the papers and get the money themselves like y'all the one who want the money i don't really want to give it to you why do i have to do all this extra work <laughs> To make sure you get your money. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, this is what navigating your 20s is. But shattering news that I got. How much I owe on taxes. When you are a creator or a freelancer in general, they don't take taxes out of your money when they pay you. So when tax season comes, you have to go ahead and pay all the taxes. Like when I used to work my normal job as a teacher, I didn't have to worry about this because they would take taxes out like immediately. So when tax season came, it was just like me getting my returns. Like it wasn't like, oh, how much do I? Oh, they about to tear me up. My tax lady called me last night while I was out on my Korean barbecue date. Waited a damn for the mood, girl. For about five minutes, I thought I was going to be sick. I guess you didn't see my list of write-offs. Last night, I basically had to like her down and make sure I wrote all my write-offs, specifically how much money I spent in my Chicago apartment. Even though they tear us up in taxes, and there's so much you can write off as a uh, content creator. I can write off like where I am living because it is where I create my content. It's kind of like my office building. So that should take the amount down a lot y'all when she told me that amount i was like i am just a girl what do you want from me can you do this it was a hurtful number y'all god did not send me to this earth to pay taxes i mean i know jesus and them were paying taxes but like he didn't send them to the earth to pay taxes either it's just too much this is so random and it looks like crazy over here but one thing i love doing just a little way to romanticize your get ready routine especially on the weekend not so much during the week you know you got stuff to do but i love to light my little candle right here I am getting ready to do my first spring flower arrangement. Hold on. I hate when doors are open in my apartment. Much better, much better. But as you can see, we have some new updates in the apartment. <laughs> look at this i have curtains you guys i'm thinking of actually doing a video of all of my home updates because i have a lot coming up i was slacking on the apartment updates and i don't mean like on filming them i mean on having them done in general pretty much what y'all have seen is what i have done i just got to this point where my apartment was livable and not stressful well not that stressful to live in and i was like well we're done furnishing an apartment is expensive 
when I was in Chicago, I felt like I had a lot of play play furniture. The one solid thing that I had as far as decor was, was my couch. I got rid of everything because it wasn't giving grown girl furniture. Chicago was really like my play area. I was very unserious. I was working, but I wasn't very like strict about my work. It was very, it was my creative era, okay? Like I'm at the point now where I realize, you know, mm -hmm, we getting a little old over here. We need to be building up like a savings, like not spending a thousand dollars on shoes. Like I might have like a family one day, maybe some kids. Like, I'm trying to go ahead and save for them, y'all. But I do it way less now. And I may get back into it when I handle some of my grown girl business. Because I'm working on a very big grown girl purchase right now. And that's why y'all haven't really seen me buy anything too crazy. Because <coughs> it's going to be the most expensive thing I ever bought in my life. But let's get into this flower arrangement. I don't want to hear a word about the fact that this picture has been sitting up here since I bought it from Target. I got an abundance of flowers last night. They were really pretty until I put them in the fridge. I do this all the time. I take my flowers and I wet the washcloth and it's soaked, so I'll wrap it around. And it's supposed to like keep your flowers hydrated at least for a day in the refrigerator until you're ready to actually put them together. I've done this a million times because I had so many flowers. So this one got pushed back and I didn't know why it had died so quickly. Y'all, I touched it. It was frozen. I don't know what they're doing outside right now. I'm sorry about that. Sad. <laughs> but I still have these. I would like to see if I could peel off the brown on these, but I don't know. Yeah, they might be a lost cause. We'll just have to see. With the look I have on right now, like it's literally my around the house lounge look. Like I have on sweatpants right now, but it's still giving summertime lana del rey and i believe lana is a is she a leo sun i think she's a leo moon well i am a leo sun and a cancer moon <laughs> that doesn't make us the same but it's just funny to me okay i did not look that up okay i only know this because i listen to her music religiously and she said it in a song okay so don't think i'm like crazy or something it's giving chemtrails over the country club <laughs> putting them in the vase that is over by my curtains. Give it a little pop of color. I feel this one to capacity and I'm kind of liking like the neutral with pops of little pastel yellow that it has. How about since there's so much white over there in the living area, we put these right here. We have the curtain so it should be able to protect the flowers. I hope we're gonna see. I'm liking how this is looking. 